The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. side. Looking for a young woman, ashen hair, scar on her face. Will you let me in? No. Running short on patience. Wonderful. Means you're about to go the fuck away. Now, my mum's beard, get yourself in with a watch. You there, outside the door. Get out. That right. Yeah. Geralt. Listen, Geralt. Let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that, as dangers litter this isle, but it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. This conversation's getting tiring. Listen, let's make a deal. 
But that's a demon. I will try to dupe us now. I'm not a demon. You don't need to fear me. Give me a chance, I'll prove it. How do you aim to do that? Say I find your mates. Will you believe I mean no harm? I am not quite an eager coming too easy. How many are there? Hey, Ivo, Gaspar, and Benny. This Ivo, where do I look? Edger insisted he'd explore the cave to the east. Tried to knock it out his head. But for us, bugger would budge. Gaspard, where will I find him? He said it was defeatist, said to wait to be rescued. We had to take action for all of this. He did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea. So he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for a ship. Where'd Ferenc go? West, in search of a ship that's said to be your death. Ferenc, he's a handy. Thought I might fix it up. Need to see what it. All right. See if I can't find all three. See ya. I am content to understand. Friends, come down. Right, I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I've one regret that. Oh, ah, ah! Dead. Damn. Hey, wake up. Shoo. Back to bed, Nibbles. Wake up. What, what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc, and Ivo. I'm afraid they're dead. Some horror sworn Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. Blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy. Meaning... I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. <sighs> Off we go, then.
to do it. I've seen Come on, get up. Oh, the bulls use a naughty kitty, aren't you? <laughs> Alright, I'm up. Know much about this isle? Almost nothing. You know, it, it ain't on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. You think it's enchanted? It's the one thing I'm sure of. The fiend. Stubby legs, one of missing low. dwarves. Shame he's dead. Come on, get up. Oh, the bulls use a naughty kitty, aren't you? <laughs> All right, I'm up. So, what is it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. Here? Kind of turned out that way. Not too keen on talking about it, are you? Not really. Brought you your friend. I right, sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. D I'm awake. <laughs> Gaspard, stand back. I'm opening the door. Park. Ha, you seem a bit muddled. Eh, uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. 
Shit. Roderick told me to have an eye on the snot. It was his nephew. Thanks for helping, and, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me, but I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful, sorry. Step aside. She's cold. Spirits left her. Nothing we can do. Let's wait by the boat. Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A Witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a Witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. Huh. Ah, uh, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spalma. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morhen, waiting for you. Are you serious? He must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalok? He's not let me down to date. Not once. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eredin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. 
It was then that Avalach appeared, out of nowhere. He found a portal and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. The world where Eridin couldn't find you, what was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads, waged war from a distance, using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed there. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, I felt like I was going around in circles. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. How'd you wind up here? What happened? Last I remember, I was on the Skellige shore, arguing with Avalok. He wanted to take me somewhere safe. After that, nothing but dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh. That was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat round a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dreamed, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? Not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it. And something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead. But at the same time, I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. And the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you. But you were cold as ice, and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. On horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eridan to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. We gotta think of a way to...
Welcome back, child. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. <laughs> what? Little sis. Here, everyone you asked for help. Avalux resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Damn, it's good to see you again. Let's not stand out here. Yes, come. We should hold council. Yen, you know the wild hunt better than anyone else. Tell us about the magic of the rules. The navigators open portals. Rules that we might have to be diverted. Oops! Oh.